Hey everyone, how's it going? Into Weapons back again with you. Wanted to do a quick review on this new utility knife I received in the mail from Valino Designs. As some of you may remember, I'm a big fan of this company and recently did a video review on a keychain flashlight they had produced and I'm still currently using today. Uh, today we're going to look at another one of their products, the Select TI. And I have to apologize if I'm not saying that correctly. I have a tendency to pronounce things incorrectly on a regular basis, so don't hold it against me. Uh, it came to me in the mail in a small black cardboard box, which I'm showing here. Uh, inside the black cardboard box is some bubble wrap, which was uh, protecting the knife. And uh, hopefully I'm going to be on camera for you guys here within the frame. So as you can see there, and here we have the knife itself. Uh, the first thing you'll notice of the, uh, of the knife is that it's very compact. It's also very lightweight, a total of 1.6 ounces. This is due to the titanium construction, which has a static machine finish for helping and conceal scratches and blemishes. And I have to tell you guys that uh, I've been carrying it in my pocket for about a week and a half, and it's been rubbing against my keys and things of that nature, and I really don't see any type of uh, blemishes or scratches in it. So uh, whatever that static machine finishes, it seems to work. Uh, it has a dual blade locking mechanism for a low and high blade depth. Uh, and it also locks into the fully closed position to eliminate accidental deployment of the blade. So I'll show you that here. Uh, you have to depress this button here, which is the, the uh, locking sliding mechanism. And we push that down, we'll slide it forward. And you'll feel a click as it locks into that first uh, depth there. And so that's maybe for, you know, opening boxes, tape, that kind of thing. So uh, you're able to depress that a little bit further, push it forward, and it locks into the fully uh, full blade depth, I should say. And uh, you're able to do a little bit harder jobs, maybe uh, carpet cutting, that kind of thing. So uh, it gives you two different adjustments, and it locks into those positions. So you can actually put some pressure on that blade and not have to worry about it sliding back into the uh, body here, uh, as well as it locks again into that uh, rear road position, the fully closed position, so you don't have an accidental deployment in your pocket, cutting up your pockets or your, your hand or whatever the case would be there. So uh, really nice. Uh, the one-piece blade carrier and locking spring is easily removable by sliding it rearward. And as you saw me slide it forward to deploy it, it's essentially just the opposite. We're going to depress that button and slide it backwards. Uh, and it's de uh, designed for minimal friction between these moving parts, so no lubricants are ever necessary with this particular knife. And you kind of heard a little popping as it released itself from the locking mechanisms. And again, I'm just going to check, make sure I'm still on camera here for you guys. And... Um, Really nice, it's, uh, it actually, um, one nice feature that I really like about it is that it uses the standard Stanley 1992 blades, which is really nice because you don't have to spend a ton of money trying to find replacements, and uh, requires no tools for replacing them. So as I'll demonstrate here, you can pop it on and you can pop it off. has two little tabs on the top here where the, uh, the blade kind of sits into, so you, you're able to provide that pressure on the blade uh, when it is deployed and you don't have to worry about it, you know, breaking the carrier or sliding back up, that kind of thing. Um... It also uh, it has a magnet built into here, which kind of holds that blade in there uh, real nicely. So that's kind of cool. A couple other features that I really like about this utility knife is the one-handed deployment. And you kind of have been seeing me do that here throughout the, the video here, just kind of manipulating this, uh, this, this uh, mechanism with just one hand. And that, that's really nice. Um, it's uh, helpful when needed to deploy it quickly. So if I have my pocket, I want to pull it out, and I don't need my second hand to try to manipulate that retraction or uh, you know getting that blade out. It, it's real easy, real quick, uh, real nice for simple, easy jobs, that kind of thing. Um, another, another thing I really like about it is the included titanium pocket clip. Uh, it, it keeps it really light but yet durable and, and you know for a pocket clip you definitely want it to be durable so it's not breaking off and uh, essentially when you break your pocket clip if you can't find a replacement or something that worked with it essentially you don't have a pocket clip anymore so having one that's really a beefy one and a titanium one you know it's going to last a long time so that's kind of nice. Uh, this particular one has the maze pattern and hopefully you guys can you know make that out on this video it's got a really really nice design in there I'm not sure how they got that if it's machined or laser etched or how it is but uh, really clean crisp lines in it they're not too deep in fact you can barely even feel them as you rub your thumb over the top of it uh, so a really clean modern good looking um, finish on there uh, I really like the design a lot uh, they also uh, like I said this is the maze they also have a hexagon pattern which you can uh, look at on their website if you're interested and it's also really cool looking uh, the knife can be ordered through Valino Designs website, which I link below. The cost is $120 plus shipping, which is a hefty price for a utility knife, uh, but it's a knife, knife which will look good and last you a lifetime. It's also a limited production knife, so if I'm not mistaken, uh, it, you know, the uniqueness is worth something in my opinion. Um, well, that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know, guys. Otherwise, as always, I appreciate watching, and until next time, take her easy.